What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back to another car mechanic simulator video and today I just I just went to a barn find and look what I found. So this is a uh, Chieftain Bandit if you guys do not know. Well, let me can't get around this. Come on. There we go. Alright. So what it is, it's a two car but V8. $14,000. I got $26,000 right now. I'm level 9 by the way. Uh, level 13 and then I'll be able to unlock the junkyard but for now we're just doing some barn finds, but right here we got this current color, factory color, uh, 300 horsepower so far. It's kind of in crap condition, I think. Okay, no, actually, no, it's not that bad. It's actually 77%, uh, 33% in total. The engine's gonna need to rebuild. Everything's basically gonna need to rebuild. But look at it. Look at that. This thing is. This thing's pretty good. So oh, I think in here is I'm gonna clear out the rest of all the junk here. We're gonna look and see if anything. I don't know. We're just let's just take everything. I'm gonna see if anything will actually suit what we need uh, for this guy to our right here. I don't think we'll actually need any of this, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to have it. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Chieftain Bandit front left fender. Ooh, -hoo. see, we can use that part, and we can maybe uh, if we if we don't get the first one repaired, we can use it to repair again. Uh, maybe we can get that one through, and we can save a little bit of money. Anything else back here? Doesn't look like it. All right, so. All right, we're gonna do it. It looks like it has all the parts there. So that's good. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna buy it. Yup. Go to the garage, baby. All right, it's cleared out a giant area for us. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I think we're done here. Ooh, spider web, cobweb. All right, let's go. Leave to the garage. Let's see, did we get anything here? We want us to pay 1435 bucks for it. We definitely want like this. You know what, let's just do it. Let's just buy all the parts. It should be good. When we get back, we'll uh, we'll repair everything we found. Or at least we'll attempt to repair everything we found. I don't know, we, we should be able to. I think I already have a car in here too. All right, let's swap you. Oh, dang it, I can't. All right, hold on. Does it start? Let's see if this sucker starts. Oh no. Oh, okay, well it doesn't start. That's not good, all right, well, mm hmm. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Where do we wanna start here? I think we're gonna start with the body. Well, let's move this over to Move this over to the test path because we're not going to be using it. And we're going to move this guy underneath the light so you can see everything. Alright, so do we have a welder here? I have not used a welder at all yet, so I don't know if we have one uh, or not. Uh huh. I don't think we have a welder. What's this? I've never left a warehouse and had a parking spot. Repair chance. Do we have a welder? I have, I don't know. Maybe we don't. All right, you know what, screw it, it'll be fine. All right, we're gonna go to disassembly mode. We're gonna start tearing everything apart here. This is pretty good though, because it looks like this car has every single part we need. It doesn't, I think, I think we got pretty lucky with this, because it doesn't look like it's missing anything. Pull off a rear window, no fenders come off, trunk, bumper, tail lights. We're gonna take off the license plate. We're gonna slap on some new license plates, some ones that'll match where I live. So that one came off. Alright, so how's the interior look? Oh man, we don't have like the interior detailing or anything, do we? Hmm. Let me look and see if there's something here I'm missing. I don't think there is. I think we don't have it. Phone. Oh yeah, we can answer our phone. Now I already have uh, this. So okay. Anyways, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. All right. So as we check out this thing here, so it won't start right now. See if we can do any diagnostics on it. No, we do. Yeah, it's too old. All right. So let's start and let's pull. Let's start pulling, pulling everything first. 
pull all the radiators. Uh, start tearing apart the engine first. We'll get the engine out of this car. Take off the air filters and all this stuff. Then we can pull the engine out. So I've only used the engine hoist once, and last time I used it, it was kind of uh, janky and messed up when I used it. So I'm hoping this one will be good. Uh, but anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make this thing we're gonna make this thing a beast. We're gonna make this bandit a beast here. Um, maybe I should keep pulling parts off. I don't think I should try and pull it uh, with just all this. I, don't know, I, think, I feel like I should take the heads off. Oh, we're missing a head. Hey, look at that. So we didn't have everything with it. That's not too bad though. Do we have ignition wires with it either? No, there were no ignition wires. All right. Well, you know what? I really don't think we got off on that bad of a deal for this this guy. It's missing a few parts now that we're getting into it, but you know what? It's okay. All right. So, where's the crane? Uh, that's not the crane. Do we not have a crane here? Maybe we don't. Uh, add engine. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we have to pull this guy out first. But we can't. Okay, so we have to pull this entire thing out by hand first because we don't have the engine crane to pull it out with. So I don't think we're upgraded far enough yet. All right, so we're just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna break down all this. I'm just gonna do all this by hand really quick. Uh, mainly because we have to. I don't know. It won't take too long. I don't know. We'll see how fast we can get. I've also done. I've got a lot of upgrades done um, onto my, like my character. I can do a lot more things a lot quickly now. Oh, we're missing some rocker arms here too. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna run through everything and I'm gonna see if I can upgrade. Uh, not upgrade repair. I'm gonna see if I can repair as much as I can just to save a little bit of cash on the side, and then uh, and then I'll start spending money and buying stuff because I want to keep this car but I also want to sell it so uh, I don't know it's our first restoration I think we should probably sell it it's a band of or not band find, it's a barn find uh, it's not like a like definitely the first challenger or charger I find I'm definitely probably gonna keep those but I think if we do a full restoration on this we can make the engine worth more than the entire car was worth in the first place because the entire car was worth 14,000 bucks when we bought it I think we can make this engine worth a lot more money than that if we like redo everything I don't know like hey this head is in really good condition actually it's actually really 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 shiny on the inside I don't know maybe we'll be able to repair it I don't know there's been very few things I think I've been able to repair I think I mostly break all of them my repair, uh, what do you call it? My, my repair skill is not that high, so I should probably get working on that. But I'm only level 9 yet. I'm waiting until level 13 to hit, uh, so we can go to the, do those, uh, junkyards. And we can pull parts off a bunch of old stuff. Alright, everybody, so I got the top end pulled off the, uh, off the engine. So we're going to toss this guy up on the lift here. Go up one more. There we go. And then we're going to pull out the oil pan, uh, Probably uh, the what do you call those? The crankshaft. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pull out the crankshaft. All of the bearing caps. I don't know. It's not. There's not too much with this. There's not nearly as many electrical parts, so the top end was really easy to take apart. Uh, the worst part was probably all of those uh, connecting, not connecting rods. Uh, oh, what are those called? Push rods. Oh yeah, push rods. Oh man, I couldn't remember that. All right, so we're gonna pull this apart and then disconnect the transmission, and then I think we should be golden to work on the top end. Uh, probably gonna have to go. Uh, oh man, see that's one thing I hate also is you have to go, you have to take the lift up all the way, then you have to take the lift down all the way. Oh man, these pistons are really bad shape actually, but I hate that because you have to take the the lift all the way up, oh, lift all the way up and then all the way down because you can't. Uh, you can't just work on one thing from the top of it. It says, like, oh, you have to go to the bottom. and I don't know. It's realistic, but it kind of sucks. It's a little pain in the butt. Oh, we got to take off the starter. Probably doesn't even work. See, I wanted to start the car and get it running just to see how it is right now and to see, like, what it can do. But I figured, you know what? Let's just go for a full-fledged restoration. Let's tear everything apart, repair what we can, buy all new, uh, give it all. Oh, can we even paint this? Oh, no, I don't think we can paint it. We don't have a paint booth. Oh no. So we might have to hold on to this thing in the garage for a bit. 
uh, before we can really do anything because we're gonna want to paint this I think we're gonna want to weld it because the body's kind of crappy right now we don't have a welder so I don't know there's not much we can do at the moment but uh, I think we can we can get the entire we can get everything all the suspension parts and everything looking pretty good oh yeah we gotta pull pistons off and it's nice though because I can rebuild the oh can I rebuild the entire engine on that or do I need the engine hoist for it Ooh, I don't know I don't I have no idea I think I'll try and rebuild it all on the block or not on the block on the uh, on the stand and then maybe wait till I get the hoist to put it back in the car maybe just uh I wonder if you can move the car without it though can you move it I, don't know, I'll pro I can probably move it. it it should be good it should be good all right so now we're going back up and we're gonna pull the crankshaft and then oil filter Oh, it didn't even have an oil filter. Never mind. All right, now I can pull the engine. Man, this is gonna be fun. This is like a, like I think it's like a Trans Am, is what it basically is. But it's, I mean, obviously not. All right, there's the engine. It's out. Let's go over here. Uh, add engine. There are no items. Huh? Maybe you have to have a nice engine. Let's go find it. Uh, oh, we can't repair it, can we? All right, well, let's let's buy the engine. Let's see what it looks like. All right, sort by arrival. So that means engine block V8 overhead valve. All right, let's go main shop. Engine. All right, so engine block V8 overhead valve. So you can do overhead valve C, but that's for the charger. Is it for the charger or challenger? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, there we go. Can we add one? No item store. So we cannot add one. I don't think we even have use of this yet. Yeah, I don't think we have any use of this at all until we have our crane. But we don't have the crane yet, so we're gonna have to be waiting. So you know what? We're just gonna strip this entire thing, uh, since that, since that's the problem now. Oh crap! Go back to normal mode. Interior disassemble. Uh, we're gonna pull out everything. See, it's kind of funny. Everything looks really good on the interior, even though it probably should be like all like rotted out and like rusted and everything like holes in the floors. I don't know. I feel like it should be like that, but it's fine that it's not. It saves us a little extra cash. Alright, let's hop up to the front here, pull off the rest of the exhaust. The tires look in pretty good shape too. I mean, dang. It'll tell us what the percentage is when we pull these all off here. What are they at? Didn't tell us? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Probably was at like 30%, but that's not terrible. For like sitting in a barn like it was, I don't know. And this car is pretty cheap too. Oh man, but it is, this is definitely going to drain us of all of our money now because we were at like 26,000 and now we're at 8,000. 8, yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to do a few more jobs and hit, probably hit a couple more uh, level ups before we can completely finish this build because it's probably going to be drained completely by the time we buy all of our new parts because all these suspension mods and everything are going to have to be changed out because yeah, they're, they're rusted to they're rusted to the maximum. It's it's pretty bad right now. But let's just keep getting with this. Keep tearing apart the suspension. Or we'll probably get the front end completely done uh, in this episode. And then we'll probably be able to... Uh, I'll probably be level 13 by the end of this. Hopefully have an engine hoist. Uh, not by the end of this video, but by, by the time I have the next video up. Definitely not by the end of this video. That'd be, that'd be like a couple hours worth of work here. Okay, so you gotta pull this one off before you can pull off the subframe. There we go. Alright. The heck? Okay, everything's. Oh, that was 51. Everything's like hovering around the 30% ish. So nothing's really too bad. Pull this out. Knuckle. All right, now let's take out the tie rods, and then uh, we'll go for the double wishbone, and, and then pop everything else off. Come on, there you go. Steering rack. 
double wishbone shock absorbers. All right, now I got upper and lower. Man, I really, I really hope that we get a paint booth soon. I think paint booth is uh, level 13, maybe. I think a lot of stuff unlocks pretty soon for us, but uh, I really want to get paint booth. I really want to repaint this thing. Probably go. I don't know what color I want to go with it. Cause right now it's. What is this color? Factory color is silver, but current color is green, like military green. All right, so we got a lot of it pulled so far. Uh, you know, let's let's pull the rears too. Oh, let's let's start pulling it. I don't know. But I kind of want this thing to be a, just a shell now. Ooh, pull the tank out. Pull the fuel pump. Ooh, that fuel pumps. Oh man, all that stuff was really bad there. Oh yes, then we got the leaf springs. I hate leaf spring. Uh, take out the U bolts and everything. I think they're just a pain in the butt because you gotta take out the U bolts, and then you gotta take out the plate, and then you gotta take out the actual springs. Can't even do that yet. Never mind. Give me this guy. There we go. All right, but the drums are a lot easier to work with. Not in real life. In real life, the drums are absolutely awful to work with. All right, wheel hub. All right, now let's pop over to this other size, other size, other side. Vintage tire. All right, so I'll probably pop off all these tires off the uh, off the rims and see if I can reuse the rims or see if I can at least repair them. Uh, I hope I can because I want to keep the like I want to keep an, the original look. If you guys catch what I'm saying here, uh, I want to keep the, like the original retro look of these rims because rims, I mean, the rims are called retro like sevens or something like that. But I want to keep the original look with them because. I don't know. I just want to keep it authentic, and I think it'll look really good. It's like a Trans Am. I think it, I think it's I think it might be a Pontiac Trans Am. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. See what it is. All right, there we go. What? Oh, there we go. Got to get the knuckle off. The other knuckle still on? What the heck? Yep. All right, and boom. Let's drop this thing down. Ooh, look at that. All right, so this thing is now only the shell. Is it? Oh, you can't take off the mirrors. All right, so yeah, it's only the shell, which is kind of crazy, but we're starting with this, and we will... Oh, man, this thing... Ha okay, so I'm going to probably get the suspension done here soon, just so we can move it, because I think you can move it. If you can, you can maybe move it to parking, or at least you can move it to the test path if it has wheels. Uh, so I'll probably get the suspension done off camera and get all that good stuff. But I'll save the engine uh, for like the, the good part. So I want to say thank you everybody for watching. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm interested to see how this turns out. I think it'll turn out really good, really cool. I don't know what color. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking black, silver, or red. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys want for the color. And I'll probably, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll go with the most commented one. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching so far. If you guys aren't yet, hit that subscribe button. I post videos almost every single day because it's just this game's absolutely fun farming farming simulators absolutely fun all these names are just so crazy fun but thank you everybody for watching i'll see you all in the next video